So thank you very much. Today, Professor David Yan and I are going to present a paper about the dynamic enable GAN of trade augmentation under technology bureaucrats. And we have five sessions in this paper. Um, the first one is about the introduction, and the second one we are going to talk about the trade network with technologies bureau over. And in session three, we are going to introduce the trade augmentation with, uh, by collaboration. And then we are going to introduce the imputation distribution procedure. And the uh, conclusion remark will be uh, presented. So in this paper, we are going to present the class of dynamic network games to analyze trade with technologies spillover. Because of the positive externalities from technology spillover, trade augmentation, collaboration, use, and optimal outcome, which enhance trade and payoffs of the participating economic agents. So a time consistent payoff distribution procedure will be delivered to maintain the agreed upon optimality principle at this stage of the collaboration. Um, we all know that international trade has been considered to be a major channel of technology spillover. And the more often the country is to trade, the more likely the country is to benefit from um, foreign R&D through technology spillover. But worth noting is that the benefits of technology spillover being realized in trade do not fully occur to the original owner of the spillover of the technology. Hence, there are disincentives for trading partners to fully explore the positive externality of technology spillover. So one of the most efficient ways to characterize trade activities is through trade networks. So there are plenty of studies from um, trade networks. And given that trade acti activities and technology spillover are interactive and intertemporal, dynamic network games can be considered as one of the most appropriate tools in analyzing um, the problem of trade with technology spillover. So um, cooperative differential games on networks have been developed. Coordinating uh, players in network to maximize their joint games and distribute them in a dynamically stable scheme in a topic of ongoing research. Uh, um, I do. Yeah. This paper presents a class of dynamic um, network game in trade with technology over. So let's move to the next session. We're going to talk about the GAM formulation and the free trade equivalent. So we have to um, consider a trade network with an economic agent. And in this network, um, in this network, we let N be the set of economic agents which are connected in the network. So the nodes of the network are agents from the set. And we use the nodes of the network in the same manner as agents um, in corresponding nets. We denote the set of nodes by N cap and the set of all us in the network by L. So the planning horizon is confined to T stage and we have the level, the level of productivity technology. We um, described it in the um, equation 2.1 as the accumulation dynamics of the productive technology of the economic agent I. Okay. So we can see from this um, equation that um, it's related to the physical uh, investment in productive technology, and it's also related to the marginal rate or spillover effect. And it's also relative to the um, 
range of obsolescence of Agent I's technology. And lambda, lambda um, can be zero, but it should be positive and non negative. So, note that the protective technology of Agent I trading partner has non negative spillover effects to the accumulation dynamics of agent I technology through trading activities. We have the payoff function of economic agent I, which is presented in this equation 2.2. Um, so, one, we can see that this one is the benefit of agent I's domain domestic economic activities. And this one, this notation, is the benefits Agent I received from trading activities with um, Agent J. So in particular, the economic benefit from trade is non-negatively related to the levels of productive technology as, um, as I as J. So we specify the pair function of agent I um, in equation 2.3. So this one, now this one is the um, benefit of agent I's um, domestic economic activity. And it's related to uh, C. C is the cost of input. So let's look at the free trade equilibrium. In a free trade setting, agent I will maximize um, the payoff function subjected to the accumulation dynamics. A fit that Nash equilibrium solution under free trade can be characterized as the theorem 2.1. In, in this theorem, we found that a set of strategies and um, of this one, U and V and I and T belong to a stage one to T, constitute a feedback net equilibrium solution to the game that, um, we talk about in um, equation 2.1 and 2.3, if there exists a function V, such that the following recursive relations are satisfied. So um, the terms we use the payoffs of agent I under VJ at stage T, given that the um, state of technology S T equals to S. So the proposition 2.1 describes the value function representing the payoff of agent I um, belongs to N under VJ. So in this proposition, um, the equations 2.8 to 2.10, they form the system of block recursive equation. Um, the values of AI, AI, L, and C um, can be explicitly solved from stage T uh, plus 1 backward to stage 1. Now we use um, proposition 2.1. Again, equilibrium strategy under free trade can be can be attempted in equation 2.11. So if we substitute um, uh, phi in 2.11 into dynamics 2.1, we have the uh, increment in the level agent I technology under free trade as described in um, equation 2.12. So equation um, 2 per 12 is a system of first order linear difference equation, which solution can be solved explicitly by standard techniques. We use um, this one to, to denote the solution to equation 2.12. Then the next equilibrium payoff of agent I can be attempted in, in 2.13. Uh, let's move to section three about the trade augmentation by collaboration. 
given that there are trade related technology. A successful um, coordination of these schemes, maximizing the joint care of the participating agents, will yield a total care large, larger than the sum of the agents pair under free trade. So um, the pair of every participating agent will be enhanced under cooperation. We are sharing optimality principle acceptable to all the participants. Moreover, um, trade and technology will be enhanced, leading to a path where future growth will be assessed, accelerated. Let's look at the group optimization first. Yes. Yes. We, we first consider the um, uh, case when the friends maximize their joint payoff of the network. Um, it's described in uh, equation 3.1. So the solution to the control program of maximizing the agent's joint payoff, we can have it in theorem 3.1. We let this one W be the maximal value of the network payoff sharing is stage T. And the technology dynamics we presented in the in um, last session, then the function W satisfied the following system of recursive equation in um, equations 3.2 and 3.3. Then the maximize the network payoff under trade augmentation is given in the following proposition. So the maximized network payoff can be attained in equation 3.4 and 3.5. Then let's move to, um, um, let's talk about the equations 3.6 and 3.7. They form the system of block recursive equations. The value of A cap and C cap, they can be explicitly solved from stage T plus one backward to stage one using three equations, a theorem system one and proposition 3.1. The joint payoff maximization cooperative strategy can be obtained in um, equation 3.8. And if we substitute uh, five bar in equation 3.1, we have the increment in level agent I technology and the trade augmentation coordination as in equation 3.9. And this equation is the system of first order linear difference equation which solution can be solved explicitly by standard techniques. We use this one to denote the solution to, um, to this equation. Then the cooperative network payoff can be attached as in this equation 3.10. Okay, now let's look at the cooperative solution. The joint payoff maximization solution takes into full account amount of uh, the positive externality of technology spillover in the tree network. Therefore, the maximized network payoff W is larger than the sum of the in, of all the individual agents pair under free trade. So let this one, let this one, um, let this one be the payment that agent I receive in stage K. Um, since the um, economic agent are asymmetric, the N agents coordinate the N agents coordinated to maximize the, the network payoff and distribute the cooperative payoff proportional to their non-cooperative payoff. So according to this principle, we have this one, um, the payoff of the, um, in the individual agents is proportional to, the, um, to their non-cooperative payoffs. So crucial to the analysis in the formulation of a payment mechanism so that the imputation um, in 3.11 can be realized. Now let's look at the imputation distribution procedure. So to do this, we follow Yuan and Pat 
chose the um, uh, the word of yarn to chose the end, and we use we use um, beta to denote the payment the payment that player I received in stage K under the cooperative agreement around the cooperative trajectory. The payment scheme involving beta consisted to an imputation distribution procedure in the sense that the payoff to agent I over the stage from K to T plus one satisfied the condition described in equation um, 4.1. So a theorem, a theorem for the derivation of beta, um, that set is 3.11, is provided in theorem 4.1. So the agree upon the imputation um, around the cooperative trajectory can be realized by a payment. Given the player I at stage K, the payment scheme um, in theorem, um, in that, oh, I make a mistake, this one should be theorem 4.1, gives rise to the, realize, um, to the realization of the imputation guided by the agreed upon the optimality principle and constitutes a dynamically consistent payment scheme. So, um, invoking theorem 4.1, a payment beta will be given to agent um, I belongs to N at stage K at stage four point in uh, equation four point six. Finally, so under cooperation. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you have you have five minutes left, so. Okay. okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Finally, under cooperation, all agents will use the uh, um, uh, cooperative strategy and uh, pay off that, um, that agent I was directly received as stage care of the cooperative strategy becomes, this one is, um, becomes a G, and this equation 4 by 7 is related to the input and investment of the um, technology. Okay, um, sorry. Okay, now let we have some um, some results. There are three results we can observe from these um, studies. The first one is that the investment in technology is higher under cooperation than under non cooperation. So the second one is that um, the level of technology are higher under cooperation than those under non cooperation. And the third one is that the payoff from trade, which reflects the benefits of trade, the larger um, under cooperation in every stage. Um, so this paper, we present um, analysis of trade with technology spillover in a dynamic network, uh, network game framework. So it is so that because of the fact that benefits of technology spillover are not occurred to the original owner of the technology. There are disincentives for trading partners to fully explore the positive externalities. The cooperative solution which taps into full account the positive externality of technology spillover and use a large cooperative network payoff than the sum of the individual agents payoff under CHA. And moreover, a time consistent payoff imputation procedure is derived so that the payoff agent I under cooperation satisfies the agree upon payoff sharing of the market principle at this stage of cooperation. It, it, it ensures the cooperation of the, um, the agreement. Thank you. Uh, th thank you very much. Maybe we are still a little bit out of time, so maybe we could have three to five minutes for discussion. So, can I ask a question? My, uh, yes. yes. In, in your model, that uh, dynamics depends on the network. Yeah. So, and um, imagine that you have individual player and uh, some connected society. And when you calculate characteristic function, you 
calculate imputation uh, pro uh, by proportional way. Uh, it seems to me it's not natural. If there is individual, individual obtain his own reward, and why we need to distribute general reward for this uh, free rider? Uh, can I David, uh, David, step David. In to, to answer the, the question? I think basically when when there's a uh, there's trade augmentation and the payoff of players are increased. So there has to be a there has to be a, a payment distribution mechanism to to put the excess uh, from cooperation into the hands of each player, right? And um, and that, that's why we have to have a uh, we have a payment distribution scheme that would be sub game consistent over time. So the trading partners won't uh, deviate from the uh, the agree upon cooperate path or, or just opt out of the of the play or opt out of the trade network. Does that answer your question for the mayor? No, I mean that more natural if we will distribute general payoff only for connected people, for connected players, not for uh, people which are not, uh, which don't want to cooperate with others. Uh, but but if if your that route expanded, right? I think in the beginning, they uh, agents have have trading have trading partners, right? Now, if they want to group all this network together, they would be spill over, not within the that. One network itself, there will be, will be spill over to other networks. So, in the in the full uh, cooperation solution, there would be a sort of full set of of uh, technology spill over. In that case, we have to account for the for the gain accrued to each player, and that's why we needed a a payoff distribution procedure to handle the problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. May I also ask the question? No, yes, please. Yes. Uh, so, first of all, very cute boy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have a question, just a comment that the spillover term in your model is not uh, a spillover term, it's just positive externalities. Because what is the difference with positive externalities? Uh, I, I think technology spill over is a form of uh, a form of external positive ex externality. Am I right? I don't think so. So and here, you just think that should be. Yes. I, I yes, think more complicated form. Yeah, more complicated. I think yeah. So actually, you're working on something on in a in a continuous time uh, framework for uh, electricity suppliers. It would be a differential game framework, and uh, and as suppliers, uh, in terms of our, our, our technology, our communications, or whatever that uh, band that they they use in the electronic framework, there would be ex there would be uh, externalities, right? So I think you can use the term. I, I think I, I agree with you that there are externalities, right? But in in the paper, the paper uses the terms. Technology spill over to identify a commonly observed phenomenon in international trade, right? And of course, uh, the, if you look at the model, is the extent the, the positive ex externality does not only come from trade, as the level expanded, you can see the payoff function to to individual agents also expand, right? So. Um, Technology spill over is only one type of positive externality, yeah. right? In the model, as you can see, right? When you cut off the uh, the networks, take away trading partners, you will see the the payoff shrink. Right? And you you are perfectly correct in saying that uh, technology spill over is a form of 
positive externality. So it becomes a matter of choosing the right word. Or in French, you say, love just choosing the right word for those French speaking people, right? Then I think, yeah, we choose the term technology spillover rather than uh, positive externality. It may, it may be better for, for positive externalities. If you look at this model, trade or uh, technology spillover is not the only form of positive externalities, right? Yeah, but thanks, thanks for pointing that out. <laughs>